In this video, I'm gonna show you how I've been able to make over $180,000 of passive income making music all without having a huge following or a big audience. Now, I did this with my skills in music production and audio engineering, but this applies to any type of creator or creative skill set. So if you're an artist or a producer or a videographer or a photographer or a creator of any kind, you know that it can be difficult to find ways to make money with your skills. And so I wanted to make this video to show you how all these different creators are creating passive income streams for themselves all by selling digital products online. I feel like not many creators talk about this stuff much, like the actual ins and outs of how they make their money. So I wanted to peel back the curtain a bit and not only show you how I got started doing this, but also show you exactly how I set up my online store and how I was able to go from $0 to nearly $10,000 a month in passive income in just under one year so that you can do it too. But first, why digital products? Well, the truth of the matter is there are a lot of different ways that creators can make money online nowadays, but selling digital products is by far one of the best ways for a few good reasons. One, there's literally no startup costs. You need no inventory or any extra expenses to create it. You can do all of this from home and it just takes your time and your creativity. Number two, it's infinitely scalable. There's no limit to how many of these that you can sell per day. You could sell 10 of these a day, you could sell 500,000 of them a day and it takes you no extra time. Number three, it's pure passive income once it's created. You make it once and you can sell it forever. And number four, there's no delivery or wait times. So for the customer, they get instant access because they're able to just download the product right after they buy it. That's even better than Amazon Prime two-day delivery. Not to mention just how popular digital products are becoming over the past couple years. There's so many different options out there, which brings us to our first step actually, selecting your product. We gotta know what we can make before we can sell anything, right? Well, this channel is focused on music creators like artists, producers, and engineers, but I'm gonna cover a couple of ideas for all different niches. So get your handy dandy notebooks out and let's take some notes. Now, no matter what you're selling, you got to keep in mind this golden rule. Your product needs to solve a problem or help people create something easier. You have to ask yourself who could actually make use of this product, right? So we have to determine who this is for and what does it actually help them do? The bottom line is that people just want to start creating and they want to focus on what they're good at. So what can you provide them that'll make that process easier? There are literally so many different types of digital products you can offer. So I'm just going to list off a couple to give you some examples. The first would be like educational products, right? So this is anything from eBooks to courses to video tutorials. If you're particularly skilled and have something that people would want to learn from you, then you can package this up into a nice course or into some sort of guide that people can easily download and learn your process from step by step. Another option would be templates and presets. This is what I chose to do when it comes to my store is creating a template or a preset for a software that I know really well. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm primarily a mixing engineer. And so I was always getting people and different artists to ask me, hey, what template are you using? And can I get your template so that I can use it on my vocals? So that's when I decided to sell that product. I had been using it for years, so I already knew that it worked really well. And I knew that it'd be extremely helpful to other people to help save them time or to accomplish something that they otherwise wouldn't know how to do. So this would be great for engineers like me or for people who are a master of a certain software. For artists and producers out there, sample packs is the way to go. There's so many different sample packs that I've seen nowadays. There's drum kits, obviously, loop kits, melody kits, but nowadays people are also selling vocal acapella kits. You can literally, as a rapper, make different acapellas or layer together different hooks and different melodies and things like that and offer it as a vocal sample pack that other producers like maybe EDM producers or any sort of producer who needs to use vocal chops, they're able to use your samples that you've recorded and package together in a nice little sample pack. I've seen people put together guitar loops, piano loops. Look at this pack right here. This guy on Instagram is selling a guitar sample pack with just a bunch of guitar loops in there. And you can tell that this guy doesn't even have that many followers, but you can see that he's a guitar player and he's selling his guitar loops to make some money from things that he's already made in the past. I'm seeing more and more producers talk about how they're almost making more money selling loops and melodies than they are actually selling beats. So a lot of times, if you have just a plethora of different ideas that maybe you've started, different melodies or different MIDI things that you've maybe laid down, drum patterns, anything like that, this can sometimes be incredibly useful to other creators who maybe have a little bit of beat block or need a little inspiration to get things started. If they could just pull in a loop or some sort of MIDI pattern, that could be extremely helpful to help get the juices flowing as far as creating themselves something from scratch. There are all kinds of other digital assets that you can provide for all the different softwares out there. Video editing templates, brush packs or texture packs for Photoshop, photo editing presets for Lightroom or Photoshop, video editing effects or overlays, transitions, things like that for video editors, templates for Google Sheets, Notion or Canva. You can make schedules, journals or planners for people who like to print out things or to have digital versions of them. The possibilities are really endless here and you as a creator should kind of know within your field what could help people most with something that maybe you've created in the past or that you could easily create that would help people. Remember to refer back to the golden rule whenever you're thinking of which product you wanna provide. 
All right, so once we have our product, the next step is going to be selecting our platform to sell the product on. Now there's gonna be a lot of different options when it comes to where you wanna actually sell your product, but I usually separate this into two major categories. One is going to be marketplaces and the other is going to be your own branded store. So marketplaces would be things like Etsy or Gumroad or Splice even. These are websites that already have customers shopping for these digital products and a lot of times it can help you get customers right off the bat just because they have traffic coming to their websites already. Now that's the good side. It's easy to upload your product and it's easy to get started, but there are a couple downsides too. Number one, it's usually going to have some sort of a cost involved or they're going to keep a large percentage of your sales every single time you sell something they're going to take a large cut the amount that they take will vary but you got to realize that since they're giving you the customer they got to take their cut for getting you that sale number two you don't actually own any of your customers a lot of times these people are going to come to your shop they're going to see your product they'll purchase from it but then from there it's kind of difficult to get in contact with them again if you wanted to say launch a new product and let them know about that new product. Number three, your brand isn't nearly as strong when you don't have your own website. If people find your products on one of these marketplaces, it doesn't look nearly as impressive as when they find you on your own branded website with your own custom domain name. So yes, these marketplaces can be helpful because they help you get some traffic to your products, but I'm gonna show you a way better way to go about this, and I'm gonna show you how I get traffic to my products. So this is the branded approach, and I use Shopify for doing this, right? There's a lot of different ways to make your websites nowadays, but I feel like Shopify kind of just has everything you need for selling stuff really easily packaged into a very easy to use product. A store setup on Shopify can look way more professional with just a few clicks and it gives you full control over your customers and your products so that you can scale this thing and really grow your brand. Creating a store with Shopify is super easy. All you have to do is sign up and you're gonna be able to select your own custom domain name so that you have your own branded website. Then from there, you can select your plan and set up all your payment information so that you can receive your money. They have a bunch of free pre-made templates that look incredible that you can just easily set up by just clicking and downloading. And once you have a template, it's as easy as setting up as a social media account. Their dashboard is laid out super easy so you can easily find your products, your customers, and all the information that you need for your website all right here on the left side of the dashboard. You can also add additional apps to give your website more features like an audio player to show examples of your products or an upsell app that'll actually help you make more sales by recommending more products to people who are purchasing things on your website. One of those apps that I use is called Digital Downloads and this is gonna give us access to have our digital products on our website and allow our customers to instantly download the product as soon as they get done purchasing. Shopify makes this so easy and it really makes your website look professional and stand out from the crowd of other people who are maybe just selling their products on some of those other marketplaces. If you're thinking about getting a store set up to sell your digital products, you can actually use the link down in the description to get yourself a huge savings on your Shopify store. This link gives you an exclusive deal that gives you your first three months for only $1 each month. So it's literally $3 for three months worth of service and you're able to sell products that entire time and start making money instantly. That's such a sick deal. When I first started, that wasn't even an option. So make sure you use that link if you wanna get your shop started. All right, so now we're moving into the final step of this formula, which is how do we actually get sales? Well, there are two main ways that people use. One is going to be the paid route and the other route is going to be the free route. Now the paid route is going to be paying for advertisement or boosting posts on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, places like that. Now this can be a quick way to get started and bring in sales very quickly, but it also costs you some money. How much money does it cost to get started? Well, I mean, you could start anywhere from five to $10 a day testing some advertising, but I usually recommend going around 20 to $30 a day because that can usually help bring you in sales faster. Now, if you don't wanna pay any money and you wanna get started for free, well then I suggest getting started by making some content showing how people can utilize your products. There's a lot of different free content that we can provide nowadays. The old school route would be to write a blog about some of these products, which is still relevant and still totally works. So if you like writing and you don't wanna get on camera at all, writing blogs is a really good route to go. But oftentimes a more effective route than blogs is going to be video content like YouTube videos, or nowadays short form content is actually the king. If you can make a really successful Instagram Reel, YouTube Short, or a TikTok video showing off the benefits of your product or your product in use, this video can actually go organically viral to where you're getting a bunch of views for free and people are going to your website because they wanna use the product that they saw in that video. So right now using Instagram and TikTok as a way to post short form content is a great way to get eyeballs on your product for free. A lot of times when we're posting free content, you'll see people are offering free products or free downloads down in the description. They say, hey, click the link down in the description for a free download. This is a lot of times a great tactic for getting an audience built as well. When people click that link, they're gonna have to give you their email address in order to download the product. Well, now you gained their email address so that you can contact them later down the road whenever you have a new product 
for sale. This is the exact blueprint that I used to start making sales when I first got started. So when I first set up my store, you can see that things started pretty slow. This was in May of 2020. I had one advertisement running at the time offering a free download for five free beats that would ask for the person's email to get the beats. I got quite a few people to click that link and download my beats and give me their email address. Now, this didn't bring me any sales right away, but it did build my email list up slowly. I also had made a couple of YouTube videos showing how to use my templates and showing all of my secrets for getting a mix like mine using this template. So I was then able to email my list of people my link to my YouTube videos so that I could start getting views on them. This is how I started generating some sales and they started to pick up slowly over the next few months. As the money started coming in more, I was able to spend a bit more on advertisement. I also continued to add some new products to my store and I made a few more YouTube videos for my channel. Nothing crazy, mind you. I just had like five or six videos at this point with maybe 600 subs. Plus my email list was up to about one to 2000 people, yet I was still seeing continued growth every single month. I was literally ecstatic to be seeing these numbers rise every month, especially because I was putting in very minimal efforts. I was starting to be able to pay all of my bills with just my sales from my digital products, and by May of next year, I made nearly $10,000 in sales. I couldn't believe literally all this came from just that small amount of work that I had done and just a few digital products I had made a few years ago. I knew at that point that selling digital products was the best way for me to make money as a creator, and I think that this can be the same for you. So that's literally my formula and my story for how I started selling digital products on my shop. Now, if you have any questions at all, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. I literally reply to every single one. And if you're interested in learning nine other ways to make money as an artist, Check out this video right here where I dive into 10 income streams to make money from your home studio. I'll see you there.